Today I will start a new chapter reproductive health. First I will begin with definition of reproductive health. So reproductive health will be defined as well being in all aspect of reproduction. In all aspect means we mean physical aspects, emotional aspects and social aspects. So when a reproductively healthy individual is there, this will also result in reproductively healthy society. India was the first country to initiate programs and action plans related to family planning in 1951. Initially, these programs were called family planning program. But currently, that is now, the same family planning program is carried out by RCH that is reproductive and child health care programs. Now what is the main objective of reproductive child health care programs? It basically has one branch which is meant uh, it basically has a one uh, one objective rather than telling a branch here it has basically one objective meant for awareness and another objective it has is it actually provides material benefit to people material benefits it provides now when it comes to awareness what awareness does it give awareness it gives depends upon the problems faced by the country so whatever reproductive health issues are there based on that awareness is provided rch programs will provide and implement their programs through audio visual media best example of audio visual media is tv it also will implement its plan through print media and best example of a print media will be newspaper magazines journals etc so this was it is not it is not actually providing anything to the people but for awareness and make people educated so that they become responsibly socially responsible individuals and socially responsible individual in a society results in socially reproductively healthy society now another objective of reproductive child health care program is providing actual material benefits it can be as simple as distribution of condoms or as contributory as starting research institutes facilities and encouraging scientists for discovering uh, discover uh, discoveries related to reproductive health so that is about the objective of reproductive and child health care programs next is strategies to solve reproductive health issues now, i'll directly start with strategies so you'll automatically come to know what might be the underlying reproductive health issues now first strategy is sex education it's a strategy in order to solve a reproductive health issue called lack of sex education among the people of india now sex education in sex education what is expected is the sex education should be given to young individuals preferably at the school level and sex education includes studying of reproductive system its structure its physiology and hormonal effects in adolescence okay then STDs, its prevention and safe and hygienic sex practice etc so these will make a person aware of all these aspects now giving i mean these will help uh, a person to be aware and therefore he can avoid myths and misconceptions about the sex related aspects now next strategy is 
educating the marriageable age group since this group is vulnerable that is entering into marriage and also this is the group that contributes to population this group is expected to be educated with all the aspects of reproduct reproduction it can be that marriageable age group first should know the age age that is uh, as a rule the a at which age they can get married and they should be aware about contraceptions that is birth control they should know prenatal and postnatal care prenatal care it may be in, involves the nutrition and you know, proper nutrition of mother so that the fetus develops normally and postnatal care can be again nutrition vaccination and importance of breastfeeding etc and also he should be uh, the marriageable age group should be aware of uh the equal opportunity between male and female there should be no discrimination between a male child and female child and they should be aware of stds or uh, prevention of std uh, sex abuse or sex related crimes or social evils like child marriage this will help to create uh, uh individuals who are socially responsible and contribute to reproductively healthy society now next is of course infrastructure infrastructure includes building of hospitals spacious hospitals with good campus away from disturbances now these hospitals should include modern techniques and strategies to solve the problems uh say related to pregnancy deliveries std abortions contraceptions uh menstrual problems or infertility etc and therefore well infrastructure can be efficient enough to assist people to overcome issues which are related to reproductive systems now this technique is called amniocentesis this is a prenatal test that means this is the test that has to be performed before the birth now what this test can do is it can determine the sex of the fetus the sex determination of the fetus is possible it can also determine whether the fetus has some chromosomal disorders or genetic disorders so but this test was banned for one reason that is for use of sex determination since this test which is good for using to detect chromosomal disorder or genetic disorder people started using it to know the sex of the fetus increasing the rate of female death of the female fetus that is female feticide so as a result this test was banned for sex determination now how is this test performed as surrounding the fetus there is a fluid called amniotic fluid now using a syringe the amniotic fluid is aspirated now this fluid have some fetal cells inside it so those fetal cells will come along with the aspirated amniotic fluid in the syringe now those collected few cells present in the amniotic fluid will now have to be multiplied because test cannot be performed with few cells so these cells has to be multiplied by cell culture method so few cells obtained in amniotic fluid are multiplied by cell culture method now this uh, multiplied cells or the cells subjected to cell animal cell culture is now used for testing now in these cells chromosome number has determined if the chromosome number changes then the fetus is probably having the chromosomal disorder and if two x chromosome are there then the fetus is supposed to be female or one x and one y chromosome is there then the fetus is supposed to be male now on the other hand same biochemical test can also be performed by using these cells to detect any gene disorder so many fetuses may have normal chromosome but there can be some 
serious gene disorder which can be which may be detected through amniocentesis so even biochemical tests help in determining the genetic disorders of the fetus so this completes amniocentesis the last concept i'm teaching now would be the scent chromon scent chromon was discovered by the scientist of cdri lucknow you can see the image of the cdri lucknow so this uh, the scientist from this institute discovered a contraceptive pill which is a first of its which is first of its kind in the world and its name is saheli its chemical composition is ormeloxifen now therefore the contribution of this will be saheli or scent chromon now we shall go through some of the important points in saheli the first point is you are already told that it is it was developed first time in the world and that to by cdri lucknow scientist its regular dosage is weekly once therefore it's called as weekly once pill now saheli is a contraceptive pill having very high efficiency that means it can bring the failure rate is very less most of the contraceptive pill in the market are steroidal which can have side effects on a long run and therefore this is this is the for this is the non steroidal pill it's a non steroidal pill which will have least side effects so now how does it function it is a estrogen receptor modulator it means it blocks the function of estrogen receptor when functioning of extro, uh, when, when it blocks the estrogen receptor uh, therefore extro, uh, estrogen receptor cannot now normally function that means estrogen receptor estrogen can't come and bind to its receptors as a result it in even blocks the functioning of estrogen and one of the function of estrogen is what suppose this is a uterine wall estrogen helps in thickening of the uterine wall now because of saheli estrogen cannot function because its receptor has already got modulated as a result what happens changed or modified or blocked as a result what happens estrogen could not perform its function and therefore there is no thickening of endometrium this completes points regarding saheli or scent chromon